I have been seeing some sort of sn snooty messages, perhaps on on Twitter and and in the media. People aren't too impressed that eight million pounds could be spent on uh, showcasing the new king. Good afternoon, Emily. Thank you for having me on. I, I, likewise, I've seen similar comments and part of me completely understands those concerns because obviously in recent times there's been a cost of living crisis and then suddenly here's this portrait at the cost of eight million to the taxpayer that's obviously going to appear in schools, public buildings, courts, and the, the like similar. So it, it, I can understand the argument that it's a lot of money, but historically, this is not unusual. We've always had portraits um, of our monarchs hung in public buildings, and I'm sure a lot of us remember a late queen. Often you'd go into schools, police stations, courts, and you'd see the portrait of, of the late queen. So basically, it's just continuing that tradition. But obviously, th these things cost money. Uh, it is a lot of money. I don't disagree with that at all. But obviously, they feel that this is money that's going to be well spent by having this portrait. And I also understand it's to bring the country together again. It's a bit of mm. it's to a show of unity with our new king. I think some people just don't like uh, money being spent on things that are deemed to be patriotic. Uh, I imagine that there's a strong correlation between uh, the people who were. Uh, who, who don't want this money to be spent on on these portraits and and they are uh, and also being anti-monarchists uh, themselves I imagine it's the same uh, people it does sometimes seem like uh, our institutions are under attack and the monarchy certainly does come under a lot of uh, pressure and strain and sometimes abuse. I agree, Emily. This is the, the thing that always kind of saddens me because there's a lot of money that is spent throughout the year on different things. And I think there's, there's things we hear that money being spent on and, and we get upset about it. And there's other things I think that's important that the money spent on. And this is one of those things. I think, you know, we're lucky in this country that we've got a monarchy. Um, our late queen was, was loved. Even friends that, are, if I can say, were not monarchists or supporters of the royal family, they still loved the queen. And the one thing about the royal family, I think we'll, everybody would agree, is it brings the country together. It always has done and it always will do. And this is, a, I think, quite an important step because it's, it's, kind of, it's also educating the younger generation by having the portrait of the king in schools because obviously it's important that the younger generation understand our history and be proud of the history and our country you know that's the, the other thing i sometimes get upset with is that on st george's day i never see enough union jacks being flown around and that kind of thing and i i kind of feel we should we should take a bit of pride in our country other countries do i think we should as well and we're lucky enough to have a, a royal family and have a king uh, as wonderful as, as he is i'm a little bit biased because obviously i knew him but he is a he's a wonderful man and, and a great king well, there you go. What an old-fashioned view, Grant, to want to take some pride in your in your nation. Um, but I do wonder whether there's a, there's also the issue that uh, uh, King Charles may not ever be as popular as the late Queen. But we shall see. He's got many years ahead of him, I hope. Thank you very much, indeed, Grant Harold, former royal butler to King Charles, Prince Harry and Prince William. Thank you very much, indeed. Now.